What's up guys, here with me I have the brand new HTC One M8. This is the T-Mobile variant. Now I went ahead and changed it over to a Google Play Edition, the official Google Play Edition ROM, so it's not running since. Now traditionally when you unlock or lock the phone, you have to push on the lock button. Now something that HTC did was the ability to double tap. Now, HTC is not new, or excuse me, HTC is not the first one to do this. There's other phone manufacturers that have already implemented that double tap um, to wake the screen and unlock it. However, when you turn it off, it's inconvenient that you have to go back and push the power button. Now, I wanna show you guys something really neat that I figured it would be fun, and it's this button down here. I don't know if you guys can see this. It will dynamically change when I go to my home screen and I can power the phone off. I'm telling you right now, guys, this has been pretty awesome to be able to just wake the device. And of course, I can also swipe up. Any, everything that the Sense version has, I'm able to do, which I'll talk about that later. Mainly, I wanna talk about this. This is part of the Exposed framework. Let me show you guys really quick here. This is the Exposed Google Edition, I guess you can call it settings. So if you're running the stock Google Edition launcher, which comes in the Google Play Edition version, you are able to, of course, if you have root, download this application. And this basically is like having Nova Launcher. So I'll give you guys a quick overview. So you can have a lot of different settings, like you know, turn off the page indicators or turn them on. You can, you know, if you want to be able to rotate the phone and everything changes, wallpaper scrolling, you can lock the desktop so that you're not able to make any changes. Let me go ahead and go back. Oops. You can, for example, I don't know if you guys noticed, my Google search bar is hidden. So I went ahead and, and uh, enabled that. So now I have the full width. You guys can see that over here too. And, but I do have it available when I go to the Google <clears throat> Google Now page. So as you can see, it comes back when I go to Google Now just because I think it's pretty convenient. So right here, it uh, has that setting for that. Now, for example, on the home screen, like Nova Launcher, you can have different uh, grid size settings. So all I have to do is enable for that. For now, I haven't tweaked with it. <clears throat> there's, a lot other, there's a lot more settings here. For example, I could change the, <clears throat> the font size, the font colors, the customization on this is, you know, off the charts. But I think what really makes this unique is the system UI tweaks, and that is for the back button. Now, I know you guys saw that that back button is on a particular screen, but you can have it available on every screen of your of your uh, home screen, or call this home screen, or you can have it available only on a particular screen like here. Here I have it on only this screen. I can have it on this screen if I wanted to, or I can even have it over here on this one to turn it off. I like it here because that's like my primary screen and you can change that. So it's very friendly in terms of how you want to customize it. You can of course keep doing that. <laughs> you can of course back up all of your information, your settings. Now this is only available if you donate to the developer, which I have. Definitely worth it. So you can back up everything. So I'm not gonna go through everything here because there's a lot to do, but most importantly, what I wanted to show you guys is this. I think this is really neat um, because it, you know, I've been using it now for almost a full day. I mean, this setting here, and I truly enjoy being able to not even touch the power button at all anymore. So anyhow, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video of that. If you guys wanna see my full, overview experience on this phone make sure you guys do subscribe because in the next couple of days after i'm done putting it through its test and paces i will make sure and do a video on that until next time adios